two teams facing elimination. Arkansas out of the SEC and Virginia from the ACC. Somebody's joyride ends tonight. It's elimination day in Omaha. Two teams are already gone and either Arkansas or Virginia will be packing their bags as well. You can't see it picked up out of your hand because it's really glary. This one is laced down the left field line, slicing and stays inside the line. Fair ball. And good hustle over there by John Barr will hold it to a single. It's 7.50. Right back to the mound again. Hulson with his second good fielding play of the inning. And make sure at first this time. Drew Smiley, who is 3-1 and one with an ERA of 4.73. But most importantly, his ERA the last time out was virtually invisible. Three and two to Hulson. Called strike three. He's in the game where he had a pitch inside. And he rips this one back up the middle for a base hit. Uh, in that game, Brian O'Connor brought S-M-Y-L-Y. I have never seen that pronunciation. This ball is bombed to dead center field. Eibner going back is tracking it and has it one step onto the warning track. Arizona State. This one grounded toward the hole and Tyler Cannon lost his footing on his first step and really never had even it. making routine plays in the field. And they've got him picked off at first base. Down to second and he's out of there. Hitter and then breaking ball. Quickly two out for Bo Bigham who keeps the inning alive with a line drive to left. Barr comes up with a Bigham a big turn. Really had designs on taking the weight is gonna really hurt your back. Struck him out. Second left field or center field. Seattle thinks he's gonna play the outfield. This one hit down the right field line and will get by the right fielder off the wall. It's gonna be a double for Gosling to lead off the bottom of the fourth. 0-2 to Prosha in the dirt, blocked nicely by McCann, but it gets away from him. Far enough so that Goslin is still able to get to third ball. He might be able to get that strikeout. Yes, he did. On the almost bounced it, and it was a perfect call. That 20 pounds is translated into 16 home runs. But this one translates into a strikeout. Nice job by Smiley his first time up. Raised his average from 223 to 230. Lines this one to left. John Barr comes on and can't make the catch. And McCann, the number eight hitter, is two for two. Double score that guy from first. Ball. Runner goes on what looked like a delayed break. Throw down. Got it. It was not a good throw by Valdez. Bounced in there, but a nice tag. They, uh, the rhythm that he has over the rubber right now. That ball's hammered toward deep left. Levitt going back at the wall. Jumps. Got a glove on it and pulled it back in. Virginia wants that ball called a home run. But the umpires can consult, and they're doing yes. that right now. Yeah. My naked eye thought the fan. And it is a home run. One of the umpires saw it, right. so John. John Barr, line drive, and it drops in front of McKinney. Barr's not going. Ball hit down the right field line. That'll be trouble. McKinney comes over to cut it out. Cut it off. Makes that huge throw to second base. What a rifle. This one toward left, and it falls. It'll be two to nothing, and Levitt, who made the diving try, didn't come up with it, but got back in a hurry to hold it to a double. So Holson. Flips one in the left, gets a two base hit and an RBI to Mike Bolsinger, who was a junior from McKinney, Texas, making his 29th appearance, the 28th in relief. Yes, he did. Struck him out. They'll throw down to first to get him. Control is throwing strikes. Command is throwing the ball within the strike zone where you want it. Down to third, and Prosha came up on it. Hard hit, but that's a play he's got to make. He is the hardest worker on the ball club. Hit to deep left field, and it's off the wall. 
One hop to Barr. Barr makes the throw. There will be runners at second and third. And that's exactly what they had to have. A big hit from somebody, and Zach Cox provides the double. This one's hit toward the gap in right center field. Playable. Caught by Parker, but that will get a run home and a runner to third. And Eibner does his job and drives in the first run for the Razor. This year is in defensively at shortstop. And Virginia trying to get something started. Hulkson with a bunt. Just got him at first base. This is Goslin. And he's gone too quickly out here in the end. Runs 50 driven in. And he would love to add to the score. Hits a bomb to left. And he does. Home run, Dan Grovac. That is a huge insurance run. Lined base hit. Pass the diving second baseman, Bo Bigham. Crochet with a wide turn and will hang on at first. Richards, the left-hander, six and one with a 1-8-2 ERA. This one is hit down the line. If it's fair, it's trouble. It's off the wall. Quickly fielded. Here's the throw. They got him trapped off a third. Here's the rundown. And Virginia runs itself out of the inning. In the lead now with the Razorbacks three to one as we go to the ninth. Arkansas down with its last three outs. And Kevin Arico, the Virginia closer. Stay alive. Back up the middle. Cannon behind second throws him out. Right down the middle. Bigham has played all of postseason. Goes after a breaking ball, grounds it to short. Cannon throws him out. Two ground balls to the shortstop, two outs, and only one chance left for the Razorbacks of Arkansas. They talk highly of their city. Up the middle, a base hit for Cox. The Razorbacks are still alive. Now that's some clutch hitting there. And Arkansas, as we told you before, so good at comebacks. Would this be improbable or what? An improbable run, an improbable rise of a program. The last six years under Brian O'Connor, and that ball is hit deep to left. Eidner ties it with a two-run homer in the ninth. Holy cow. Once you have come from behind, you believe you can do it at will. And they just did. You hang them, we bang them. And that one was launched. Needed no help from the wind, and he knew he got it. Watch how high this ball is hit. It's a no doubt. You can only get one more guy out. This one is smoked to straightaway center field, and the lead run is on. McCann with the single who had a good cut at the last one chops it toward third fielded by Prosha and he blew it on the ground toward short Tyler Cannon will take it himself Virginia is out of the inning but not before the Razorbacks of Arkansas ride the bat haven't had a walk off homer in a long time, but how about one to the gap in the left field? Three base hits tonight for Hicks. And he Valdez squares around. Right back to the mound. Got a shot at him at second. Bad throw. Runners are safe. Richards came off the mound. The ball was bunted. And the new pitcher is left-hander Dallas Keuchel, who is eight and three. He was the starter earlier in the College World Series, and he's thrown the ball well. He can take the pressure, but right now he's going to have to field his position. Here's the two and two. 
Got the bunt down. Boy, what a job by Worman. Gets in a hole. Owen to with two strikes. He got it done. Now they're going to walk Cannon to load him up so that they can have a force play. Michael wasn't breathing the whole pitch. Lined right at the shortstop. Had a chance for two. One. Double play. Hudson hit the ball right on the money. Carver, the shortstop, knocked it down, stayed with it, went to Bigham. It's a bullet, 3-0, generous strike. Just a bullet and a great turn. Holson giving everything he can down the line, but he's out by a half a foot. Six to four to three. That's you. That's right. <laughs> yeah. three. Strike three call. Popped up. Foul territory and playable. Crochet makes the catch. Town Burke, Virginia stands in. His opportunity to play and through the third baseman. Zach Cox and Holly hustling all the way gets into second base. Bunted toward third and Holly wasn't gone. He's out. He stayed at second base. Up the middle and through. And Holly, for some reason, was waiting for the ball to go past him. His first reaction has got to be to take off. Can Arkansas make him pay? Struck him out. Tied 3-3 with Arkansas. Struck him out. Oh, what a job by Keichel. One and two to Cox and struck him out. Went after a high fastball that would have been ball four. And Worman throws him out. One, two, three in the Right back through the box. Made him look bad on two swings in a row. And then hung in there and on an 0 2 pitch, spanked it back through the middle. Another bunt and a good one. Bobbled and just got him at first. So Worman does his job again. And now they're going to walk Tyler Cannon, the leadoff hitter. 0 2 to Holson. Popped up shallow right center field and back on the grass, the second baseman Bigham. That's two outs. Worry about the outfielder's arms. All four. And that's exactly where he's going to be. So the catcher's speed is not going to be a factor here, barring the Dallas Keiko get out of another monster jam. On the ground, the second base. We'll go to the 12, folks. McKinney singled his last time up. Singles this time. So McKinney doing his part at the bottom of the order. Device he wears on his hand. Runner goes, not even a throw. And McKinney steals his seventh face out of eight tries. Second, one out. Fair ball inside third. McKinney will score easily. Dark his way to second and he's in there Safe. Andrew Dar with a double and an RBI that gives Arkansas the lead he battled he fought he extended the at bat and he finally got a mistake a ball up that he drove down the line and there was going to be no chance to throw him out at home could give Arkansas an insurance run lines it to right Rovac will come up throwing they're going to send the runner got a chance at the plate and he is out Rovac challenged made a perfect throw would like to avoid the drama for a change and just get a one two three inning but he's not going to Steven Prosha leads it off with a double just inside the third base bag. 
Runner goes. He has the base stolen. It's a strikeout. What a jump by Prosha. Run at third. One out. Struck him out. They'll have to throw him out. And they do. Arkansas has come from behind to win this game, and Dallas Keuchel, the miracle worker on the mound. He started for him in game one. He beat Cal State Fullerton. He pitched out a jam after jam after jam. He's a seventh rounder for the Astros. I can see him in his pen already. He has proven he can come into anybody's jam or create his own and still pitch out of it.